In this video, we'll talk about the science behind procrastination. People will always say how bad procrastination is before ever truly realizing why it happens. It's a natural approach which people rely on at the last minute. It is about how they will continually agree to take on another assignment before finishing the previous one. This is not about responsibility and whether the person can complete tasks or not. It is about wanting to take on a challenge and finish more assignments than the person next to them. This is a common scenario, especially in the workplace where employees will compete to keep their jobs. Sometimes the only way to do this is to take on more assignments and finish them faster. Whether they were turned in at the last minute or not, they take on more assignments just to impress their managers. People question themselves whenever they push back an assignment another day or even another week. Sometimes an assignment that is due the next day will continuously be pushed back because people keep switching their focus throughout the day. This happens because a battle between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex occurs in the brain. The limbic system controls the amount of pleasure and relaxation that a person will naturally feel. The prefrontal cortex controls the amount of planning that the mind must go through. Simply put, when a person chooses to push back an assignment by either an hour or a day, the limbic system is taking over the prefrontal cortex. This situation often happens as people like going through the constant cycle of waiting until the last minute. The reason the limbic system continues to be more in control and overpowers the prefrontal cortex is because it's one of the older and more dominant parts of the brain. This system automatically runs through the process of strengthening itself more often than any other part of the brain. It is one of the first systems which develops inside the brain, responsible for keeping a person away from carrying out unpleasant actions. For example, when a child looks at a flame, he might get curious and want to touch it. The limbic system tells his brain not to touch the flame because it will hurt him. This system does not focus on the damage that would be inflicted, but the amount of pain that would be felt. Compared to the limbic system, the prefrontal cortex is developed at a later stage. In science, this system is also known to be one of the weaker parts of the brain. The main feature of this part of the brain is that it runs through stimulus rather than an automatic process. People think that thoughts develop automatically in the prefrontal cortex, but it's quite the opposite. It sits right behind the forehead and has to be made to function for it to work. The moment a person sits down to work on an assignment and consumes time in continuing it, he is telling his brain to keep working on the task instead of lingering off. This is a difficult thing to do, especially when the limbic system continues to bribe the brain to relax at that moment. Even though relaxing for a bit sounds good, the prefrontal cortex understands that the assignment must be completed by a certain time, and if not, the person will go through a certain punishment that will make life less relaxed. So the closer the due date of an assignment, the quicker these two parts of the brain will negotiate to understand which action should be taken. The truth is, the action which leads to more relaxation tends to win each time. The closer a person approaches a due date, the more he begins to panic since he feels he cannot relax as much. The moment this is felt, it is easier to keep the prefrontal cortex engaged. It is easier to continue each assignment since it's understood that there will be more pain the longer the person waits. This is one of the few times where both sides of the brain win. The prefrontal cortex gets to complete the assignment while the limbic system feels less pain. Another reason a person procrastinates is because he feels a certain rush the longer he waits for an assignment to be completed. He is able to take on the challenge of finishing everything at the very last minute and feels rewarded by doing so. It's all about the idea of cutting it close but still being victorious at the end. When a person waits until the last minute to finish an assignment, he sees a challenge and feels what he thinks is an adrenaline rush. What he's actually feeling is a small dose of dopamine moving quickly through the brain. It's a good feeling that comes with the expectation of getting a reward every time an assignment is completed. 
This boost gives enough reason for a person to continue coming back to the idea of waiting for as long as he can before completing any type of assignment. Since the hormone dopamine continues to run through the brain during these situations, it causes a person to lose his sense of control. He starts to form a battle within himself to see how much self-control he truly has. While he knows that an assignment is due soon, he also knows that the intense feeling of waiting until the last minute is just right around the corner. He could choose to finish the assignment ahead of time to gain more time to relax later, or he could choose to relax first and push the assignment back to challenge himself to finish the assignment at the last minute. Having self-control means that the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system are equally functioning. There are no boundaries to try and cross to have one side win over the other. Instead, they seem to work together to ensure the highest amount of efficiency within a person. While a person is in control of his mind and what he is doing at the moment, his reaction to the hormones is quite difficult to overcome. It's all about the feelings that would rather be felt, the victory at the last moment to feel the rush of dopamine in the mind, or a calming sense of being ahead to strengthen the prefrontal cortex. While dopamine is the main factor which contributes to the reasons behind procrastination, adrenaline can still exist in this situation. The part of the brain that produces adrenaline is called the amygdala. It's associated with an automatic emotional reaction, which is triggered whenever a situation that is difficult for the mind to process arises. This happens when a situation is outside of the boundaries of everyday life. For example, a person can walk or drive to get to the places where he needs to go. One day, he can end up running late when he is normally always on time. This causes him to panic and become overwhelmed. He will not know what to do, not thinking clearly as a result. At this moment, the brain evaluates the choice using the fight or flight response. When it comes to choosing between doing an assignment or not, the fight response in the amygdala would choose to do the assignment at that moment. The fight response in the amygdala would choose to do the assignment at that moment. The flight response would push the assignment back another day, and once again, instead of doing what needs to be done, the brain would choose to procrastinate. Generally, the amygdala does not choose one side over the other, unlike the limbic system, which always chooses relaxation. The amygdala chooses the side, which allows the person to have the highest amount of safety. For example, if a person needs more sleep, the amygdala will choose for the person to get more rest rather than do the assignment. It's all about focusing on healing of the body rather than focusing on the tasks of the day or the week. Overall, the brain is in a constant battle between which side to choose. It will continue to evaluate the different variables to figure out whether to procrastinate or not. The brain will continue to crave for hormones every time a person chooses to procrastinate, and it will find more reasons to take on more assignments to continue feeling the rush of a challenge. Even though it feels good to wait until the last minute to achieve success, the best way to strengthen the prefrontal cortex is to practice stepping away from the habits of procrastination. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.